It's on to her! The power of the Lord commands you! Ich kann den aber auch... Ich kann den nicht beißen, oder? Das ist ungünstig. Ich glaube, an dem komme ich noch nicht vorbei. Ich habe da so ein Gefühl. Ruhe dich aus, um dich zu entwickeln. Vielleicht sollte ich mich wirklich mal erstmal ausruhen. Ich meine, 1370 EP sind schon wirklich viel. Sollte. Na. Links. Falsche Ziel, Bürgermiss. Ich finde heraus, wer es selber ausspielen wird. Aha! Naja, wenn es nur ums Reden geht, ne? Reden kann ich ja. Ich habe ja schließlich im Mund. Pembroke Hospital. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Such a pleasure to see you again. Um. Tell me the truth about your appointment as a medic during the war, Rakesh. The regiment administration appointed me by mistake. I had to learn the job on the spot, sir. Very hard, sir. But I rose to the challenge. Sie hätten ablehnen sollen. Do you realize how many soldiers died because of that decision? You should have refused. Yes, sir. I swear I did, sir. But no one listened. When the first wounded arrived, I had to do what I could. It is an unbelievable story, Mr. Chidana. It was a time beyond belief, Dr. Reed. But I'm happy not to deal with the wounded. I prefer caring for the dead now. Sie können sich doch nicht als Arzt ausgeben. You can't impersonate a doctor. You can't improvise a medical education. People could die at your hands. You're absolutely right, sir. But as a field surgeon, it was more like being a butcher. Do you believe you have really helped these people? My ratings were within the averages of the regiment. I saved lives, Dr. Reed. Does that not say enough about triage and war surgery? Since you're not afraid of dying, do you believe in life after death, Rakesh? No. I believe we must do all the good we can while alive. For our time is short and the obstacles are endless. Do you think you would enjoy immortality as a concept? I don't think so. Don't mistake me. I love life and I'd like to live a long life. But everything has to decay, sir. Even goodwill. Okay. Das Goodbye, war's dann. Mr. Chidana. Das war's dann. Ja, 
fix me properly, a month? A year? Our methods, and you will kindly apologize when you're feeling better. Ich bin schon so müde, ich sollte erstmal schlafen gehen. Ultimativ. Stufe, ach so, Stufe 10. Ja gut, das bin ich noch nicht. Ähm Zwei Sekunden Kontrolle, Stufe 1. Oder Blutbarriere, Stufe 1. Du erzeugst eine unsichtbare Barriere, die direkten Schaden absorbiert, bis sie verschwindet oder zerstört wird. Das klingt doch gut. Ich würde halt gerne noch wissen, kann ich hier irgendwie sowas wie... Nein, kann ich nicht. Schattenschleier. Schatten verschwinden. Nee. Blutspeer. Du wirfst einen Speer aus Blut, der Gegner vor dir durchbohren kann. Oder Schattennebel. Ah, dann würde ich eher noch die Krall, äh, die, die, die Klauen. Oh Gott, 2000. Oder doch den Blutspeer. 1000. 1300. Na ja, Quatsch, das wird ja noch nichts. Schattenschleier oder Zustand des Körpers erhöht deine Gesundheit. Blutkapazität. Okay, Medizintasche, das kann man bestimmt auch nicht schauen. Die folgende Nacht. Stufe 10. Jetzt habe ich diese Stufe 10, wo ich theoretisch dieses Ultimative nehmen könnte. Ja, aber... Sechsunddreißig, fünfunddreißig, vierunddreißig, dreiunddreißig, zweiunddreißig, einunddreißig. Finde heraus, was Selma ausspielen wird. Okay, 
Okay, wir gehen noch mal zu zu, zu White Chapel Ja klar, Stufe 18, oh, ist klar. Okay, das ist vielleicht ein Stadtgebiet, wo ich mich noch nicht unbedingt mit den Gegnern anlegen sollte. Wo soll ich hier hin? Warum also, soll ich hier... I'm sure that during your lifetimes you have all received things that you have Good evening, Dr. Strickland. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. Can I be of any help? Tell me, Thoreau. What's the real cause of your dislike for Dr. Ackroyd? He refuses to admit that your blood transfusion technique is the only way to save Mr. Fiddick. I'm convinced we must use it. What Dr. Ackroyd really said is that you lack the skill to perform this operation efficiently. Is there anything you have to say about this? It's a false conceit. Dr. Ackroyd secretly envies your reputation. His jealousy blinds him. I'm not the real target here. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. Good evening, Mr. Fiddick. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Any news about my operation? Da habe ich schon alle Fragen gestellt, okay. Goodbye for now, Mr. Fiddick. I'll see you later. To calm the children, Helen. As for me. Hm. Aber ich muss noch mal nach White Chapel. Das auf jeden Fall. Dann... Ja, tschüss. Don't be shy, handsome. What can Christina do for you? I'm not looking for what you're selling. But I'd like to ask you a few questions, if I may. I'm a doctor. Dr. Reed. All right, then. But be quick, though I usually get paid when I open my mouth. Christina, have you been examined? The epidemic is spreading fast in London, and you could be exposed. Or expose others. I don't like doctors or hospitals, but I don't like you asking questions. Considering your line of work, I assure you it is only a matter of time before you have health issues. If it is going to happen, it will happen. Right now, I need money. That's what's important. You can put your own life in danger. That's your decision. But what about your clients? If you're contaminated, you will put them in danger too. And you think that would worry me? If you knew the men I deal with, their health would not be what you'd worry about. Clayton Darby claims he will expose the crisis in Whitechapel to all of London. Do you believe him? I believe Clayton's courage will erode with time. 
until he finally leaves Whitechapel to start another fight somewhere else. Tja, das könnte schon sein. Aber warum so skeptisch? Why this skepticism? How can you speak about starvation if you've never been hungry? Or about poverty? Or anything else you have never suffered from? Sprechen Sie aus Erfahrung? Are you talking from experience? I've seen your type come here to get a good fuck in a cheap room or a dark alley before going back to their fancy houses in the West End. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? Anything you can tell me about her would be helpful. I don't know her, but I know her name is Dorothea Krasionescu. She came from Romania like me and many others. You seem to respect her. Dorothea helps the sick people of Whitechapel. Everyone should respect that. Tell me about yourself. Are you joking with me? People don't usually come to see me for conversation. I have no interest in your work. I am, however, curious as to what led you into this career. <laughs> Short story. The war, exile, and England. This country is not especially welcoming. I've been refused many jobs because of where I am from. I had few options left. Uh. I always thought I was the master of my own fate. But now I know we don't always have control over our lives. I don't judge you. You know, this money is not only for me. I have good reasons to need this money quickly. But it is not your concern, Doctor. Okay. Goodbye, miss. Take care of yourself as best you can. Locked. Aber warum komme ich da nicht rein? Komme ich da von der anderen Seite? Kann ich da von der anderen Seite rein oder, oder komme ich da gar nicht rein? Ja, ja. You are blinded by your false faith. Aha. Finde Richard in dem Gebiet. Das ist doch mit Sicherheit Richard. Some of us come to this world all. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I would like to ask you a few questions. Please be my guest. Although I may not be the best informant regarding this part of town, my words speak about that which the eyes cannot see. Really? Are you an artist of some kind? I'm a poet, sir. Richard Nithercott, at your service. Da is er, ja. Fangen wir erstmal mit Smalltalk an. May I ask what you're doing at this hour of night, sir? Do you live here? Not at all. 
I'm just enjoying the pleasure of a quiet walk. Though night talks are always preferable, if you ask me. Especially with strangers. Haben Sie keine Angst vor der Epidemie? But are you not afraid of the epidemic? Oh, why should I? I see some equity in the Spanish flu. Uh, no flesh should be saved, say the scriptures. Good or evil, rich or poor, all are equal in the eyes of the flu. Setzen Sie sich nicht der Epidemie aus. If you say so. But as a physician in a time of epidemic, I must caution you to avoid unnecessary exposure, sir. Thank you, Doctor. But we both know the seeker of truth has to go boldly where the weak dare not. Leben könnte in Gefahr sein. Are you aware that your life could be in danger in this part of town? But this is where I must be to feel the real beat of the city. I had to come, see it for myself, alone. Es ist hier sehr riskant. I understand your need for solitude. But it's not safe around here. I don't care. I don't have many friends, Doctor. And my family despises me. If some misfortune came upon you, who would be here to help you? Well, you for a start, my dear Doctor. That is an argument. What are your thoughts on the terrible situation in this city? Terrible, you say? No. Of course, the death of so many innocents is a tragedy. But the scourge has not been all bad for the city. Oh, no, sir. What are you talking about? Do you remember London before the flu? Noisy, cacophonic, quiet, nowhere to be found. And now, listen to this oddly peaceful silence. Eine ziemlich einzigartige Sichtweise. Yes, the enjoyable silence of the grave. You have a unique perspective on the situation, I must admit. Most people fail to understand my perspective. I don't blame them. But how could I call myself a poet if I veiled my feelings? Persönliche mm Fragen. -hmm. Suche nach Inspiration in Whitechapel. Tell me, Mr. Nethercott. Why seek inspiration in Whitechapel? The place is not beautiful per se, but uh, how to explain it? Stirring and challenging. Can you give me an example? In what way exactly? The struggle by gaslight, the barren smiles and the arid hunger under the rain. If you say so. Such vibrant antagonism and vivid paradox, the stripped humanity raged across each street. Vivid, of course, yes. And what about the poignant distress? Oh yes, the poignant distress. You see what I mean, don't you? That's what I want to write about, and that's what Whitechapel is made of. Denken Sie nicht, dass es ein wenig morbid? Do you not think it a little morbid? On the contrary, sir, Whitechapel is full of life, full of beauty. Just like my dear muse, the wonderful Camellia. What can you tell me about Camellia? Not much. And that's the beauty of it. She can't speak, you know. She's a locked mystery who exhales kindness and sweetness. Ach, die. Um... Perhaps you're just afraid to find out the truth about your muse. One day, perhaps, I'll ask her to come with me. But ah, will she still be my wild flower of Whitechapel if she moves uptown? Sie kennen sie nicht. And have you ever tried to learn more about her? Where she lives? How she survives? Whom she may know. Maybe I prefer she remains an enigma. Reality can be so dull, don't you think? Camellia is Teil einer Verschwörung. Did you know the mute florist is a member of a secret society? No, I didn't. But I thank you for this information, sir. For it only enriches the mystery surrounding the precious Camellia. Sind Sie nicht neugierig? Are you not curious? Is there not more you wish to know? That girl has not an ounce of malice in her. 
Whatever she may be hiding, it's certain to be for the benefit of most, if not all. Sie sind ein hoffnungsloser Romantiker. I fear you are a hopeless romantic, Mr. Mythical. Guilty as charged, Dr. Reed. Okay, kommen wir, äh, wo habe ich noch? Nein. Gehen wir ans Eingemachte. Ich suche nach Schwester Dorothy Crane. May I ask you a few questions about the district? Extraordinary part of town, is it not? I'll be glad to help you, if I can. Über Dorothy Crane. I'm looking for Dorothy Crane. A nurse who lives in this vicinity. Dorothy Crane. Oh, I love the name. The Crane of Whitechapel. Sounds very mysterious. But sorry, no, never heard of her. Über Darius Petrescu. What can you tell me about an old man called Darius? Darius Petrescu? Yes, I know him. At first I thought he was only a small publisher. I invited him to publish my work, but his reaction was pretty clear. Not interested in your talent? Darius is an old political activist who takes delight in printing tracts and lampoons. Those communist activities only require mediocre writing skills. Okay, um... Das war's dann mal, würde ich sagen. I'll leave you alone, sir. Darius is a bit less of a mystery now. It should not be that difficult to incite him to let me in. Up to Darius Petrescu's house. Ah, irgendwie mag ich ja diese Atmosphäre, das ist ja so... Ich weiß auch nicht. Ein Ring. Mr. Petrescu, just one minute, please. You again. Go away. Führen wir ein Gespräch von Mann zu Mann. Sir, wait. Stop this nonsense. I know Nurse Crane is here. Shall we speak man to man, you and I? <laughs> All right. Speak up. Don't you see we're on the same side? We fight to help the poor, sick, and abandoned. I'm nothing like you, Mr. Doctor. Yes, you are. You too believe in providing medical care without charge. You know what we have to sacrifice to make the world a better place. I have to admit your words have conviction. All right, I'll let you see Dorothea. Don't make me regret this, though. Darius Petrescu's house. Finde Dorothy Crane. Die müsste doch hier sein. Dorothy Crane's Apotheke. Was ist denn hier los? Brief an Schwester Dorothy, London, 31. Oktober. Mein liebe Dorothy, wenn du diesen Brief liest, werde ich schon auf einem Schiff sein, das Anton und mich zurück nach Brasov bringt. England war nichts für uns und ich muss gestehen, dass ich kaum erwarten kann, die stolzen Hügel Transsilvaniens wiederzusehen. 
Sobald wir zurück sind, verspreche ich, eine Kerze für dich in der schwarzen Kirche anzuzünden und zu beten, dass du diese schreckliche Epidemie überlebst. Ich weiß, dass du diese Entscheidung ablehnst und dich lieber nützlich machst, indem du unseren verbannten Genossen im East End hilfst. Doch Anton oder Anton kann nicht, kann nicht erwarten, in unser geliebtes Land heimzukehren und die lang ersehnte Revolution erblühen zu sehen. Er ist mein Gatte und ich bleibe an seiner Seite. Ich weiß, wir hatten unsere Streite und Zankereien. Ich weiß, du hättest gern mit mir zusammen deine Klinik betrieben. Nun, da ich England verlasse, sei versichert, dass wenn dir etwas passieren sollte, wenn du in Gefahr oder Schwierigkeiten gerätst, werde ich jederzeit mit oder ohne Anton zurück nach London kommen. Bitte, de bitte denke von mir, so wie ich von dir denke. Ich bleibe deine dich liebende Schwester, Theodora. Rosman, can you hear my voice? Hier gibt es ziemlich viel in diesem Haus. I need help. What do we have here, Nurse? Patient Razvan Vasily. High fever running on three days. Complaints of dizziness, muscle aches, and head pain. Diagnosed with influenza. Treatment? Aspirin and salicin for the fever and discomfort. Liquids for dehydration. But he's having trouble keeping even water down. Um, noch etwas, das ich wissen sollte? Thank you, nurse. Anything else I should know? He did lose consciousness this morning, but he's never had convulsions like these. He's not convulsing. He's choking. He's not getting any air. Scalp! Hand me that scalp! What can I do, doctor? Ich muss einen Luftrohrenschnitt durchführen. I need to perform a tracheostomy. Short pipe. That rubber tube will do. We're going to cut a passage for air through the neck. Yes, Doctor. He's breathing again, but he's coughing up blood. Internal hemorrhaging. I need to make another incision into the chest cavity to drain the fluids from the lung. Prepare another tube. A thoracostomy? Doctor, we've nothing to fight the infection. We need an aseptic environment. Um. Was schlagen Sie vor? Right then, Nurse Crane. What do you suggest we do? I've no idea. I'm not the doctor. Time is of the essence. We need to perform a thoracic drain. Yes, doctor. He's still bleeding, doctor. I'm losing his pulse. The drain must have punctured the intercostal artery. There's too much blood. Are you all right, Doctor? I... I can't see. Oh, nein. Äh... Ich muss die Arterie vernehmen. I must... First suture the artery. Find the wound. The source... Of the blood. Needle and thread, Doctor. Good. The stitches are holding. How's he doing? We're losing him. We've lost his pulse. He's dying, Doctor. Cardiac massage. Now. Cardiac... What? Are you making this up as you go along? We've lost the pulse. 
He... he's gone, Doctor. Nurse, we did everything we could. Truly? Everything you could. Is that how you'll report this in your log? Is this how the war went, piling up one poor corpse beside the next? This was not an influenza-induced seizure. I've never seen symptoms like these on the continent. Neither have I. But the previous symptoms leading up to this attack were the same, indistinguishable from the epidemic. No. There was something more vile in these reactions. Something... primitive. There have been numerous reports of mental breakdowns caused by the fever that accompanies the flu itself, Doctor. Yes, but... I'd best take some samples of the blood for analysis. I doubt you're here to test my bedside manners. I suspect it was more than intuition alone that led you to us. So, how might I be of service, Dr. Reed? Dorothy Crane. Sie war eine geheime Widerstandskämpferin in ihrem Heimatland. Sie hat eine Schwester in Rumänien. Hinweis gesperrt. Ich bin hier, um die Erpressung zu beenden. I've come to put an end to this insufferable blackmailing, Dorothy. Doctor, you think your warnings scare me? I've stolen and plied, blackmailed and lied, but what else am I to do? I'm all these people have. Warum Lady Ashbury? But why Lady Ashbury? Why her, of all people? She's pristine and proper, all right. But that she-wolf in sheep's clothing murders the poor for sport. I have her where she belongs, and I'll milk her for all she's got. Warum Dr. Swansea nicht vertrauen? Dr. Swansea is a sensible and honest man. He wouldn't have refused your friend's care at Pembroke. It's easy for you to say, Doctor. These people cannot go to the police, nor to the hospital. They don't even speak English. They depend on me for everything. Der Zweck heiligt also die Mitte. So, the end justifies the means. Is that your defense? I know you're kind, Doctor. Just another fine-heeled, silver-spooned gentleman who was given the world on a platter. You know nothing of poverty. Nothing of the shame, the hunger, the loneliness. The oppression must have aufhören. You've convinced me of the sincerity of your actions and their noble justifications. But all the same, blackmail is a crime and it will stop Nurse Crane. So, are you going to turn me over to the authorities? Boah, uh... Ich sehe weg, aber sie kündigen. No. Your place is here. Jailing you would be an even greater crime. So? Here is my proposition. I'll look the other way on your little enterprise. In exchange, you will resign from the Pembroke Hospital and provide me with medical supplies when the need arises. Dr. Reed! That sounds like a business proposition. My accomplice, then. No. Just a privileged client. My research may require the occasional rare piece of equipment or ingredient. I'll pay good coin in exchange, fair and honest, to help finance your noble endeavors. We have ourselves a deal, Doctor. Good customers are always welcome. Yes, Nurse Crane. We have a deal. Okay. Wir können 
neue Bürger getötet werden. Okay, das war zu viel. <lacht> oh Mann. Du wurdest besiegt. Oh ja. Das wurde ich. Locked, all right. He's mine. Ryan. Watch yourselves. Das ist ja nur nicht so, als ob ich die Leute unbedingt töten wollte. Ich finde, das sollten wir mal dazu sagen. Joe, please, I don't have your money. I don't have your money. Ja, ich habe wieder äh, ordentlich EP gesammelt. Schon nicht zu verachten. Human blood. Whoever left these marks did so deliberately. Kill him, boy! Vermin! <lacht> 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 Burn! 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 Burn!
Keine Sorge, ich hab sie gleich. <lacht> I would ask you to avert your eyes, sir. Or did you not know it was rude to stare? I knew it. Speak up, Dr. Reed. I like a man who speaks his mind. Er hat ihn vertraut. You killed him. He trusted you. And you killed him. Spare me your sarcasm, Jonathan. You are but newly born in this world. Letzten Endes sind wir Vampire. We are vampires. We live by leeching the blood from weaker prey. We are Darwin's next chapter. His cynical and perhaps ultimate expression. The situation is somewhat awkward nonetheless. I have not been observed sustaining myself for many decades. I have to say I'm a trifle embarrassed. Anyway, I have concluded my inquiries concerning your blackmailer. I see. Please excuse my agitated state. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't let anyone see me in this condition. I must confess I have not put an end to the blackmail, my lady. Unfortunately, I could not bring myself to do it. I'm so disappointed in you, Jonathan. I didn't expect this from you. Lady Ashbury, you yourself admitted how ridiculous the sum of money was. I can assure you it was all used for charitable ends. Well, you are full of surprises, aren't you, Jonathan? All right? Say I trust you. But you will still pay the ransom. That is only fair. After all, it was you who failed to bring this problem to a satisfactory conclusion. I believe I could agree to that. And since a lady always keeps her promises, I will now answer any questions you may have. 
über die werte Lady. Swansea lässt sie töten. Why does Dr. Swansea allow you to feed on the patients of the hospital? Dr. Swansea is a good and compassionate man. He is trying to find a solution for our hunger. Until that happens, he is clever enough to understand that I only feed upon the dying. Wissen Sie etwas über seine Bruderschaft? What do you know about this brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole? The Brotherhood is well known amongst London Vampire Society. As long as our kind is discreet, and as long as they do not interfere, we have come to a mutual understanding. Niemand hat Sie verdächtigt? And no one suspected you of the murders. As you well know, suspicion has recently fallen on me of killing for pleasure. But you have my word, Jonathan. I take no pleasure in taking a life. Warum haben Sie mich gerettet? Why did you save me in the canning factory? I could hardly stand by and watch such a promising young blood as yourself be torn to shreds by some gutter scowl. Wem ist nicht mein Schöpfer? William Bishop wasn't the vampire that created me then. No, Jonathan. Whatever their strength and demeanor, Skulls are the progeny of careless vampires. It cannot be the other way round. Was ist ein Skull? What type of vampire is a skull? Not a true vampire. The deformed offspring of lesser vampires. It is a shame these creatures run wild, slaves to their baser instincts. Wie alt sind sie? I know this is beyond the pale. But may I inquire your age? Really? And I thought you were gentlemen. If you must know, I'm 27. I've been 27 for a long time now. And 27 I shall remain. Das ist nicht die ganze Wahrheit. Very well. But I believe there is more to this than you are saying. A lady has to have some secrets. Wer hat Ihnen ewige Jugend gewährt? And who bestowed upon you this eternal youth? My maker. He left this isle a long time ago. Über London. Was ist mit London geschehen? I've been away from London and England for three years. This isn't the city I remember. Things have gone from bad to worse here, Jonathan. I've lived in this city for a long time, and I've never seen it like this. Die Spanische Grippe hat das verursacht? The Spanish flu has hit London that bad. Yes, but it's not just that. I've heard things. Things I've not heard for a very, very long time. There are whispers in the shadows. Something far worse than the Spanish flu is here in the city. Wovor fürchten Sie sich? What is it you fear? Fear has long since flown this form. But there is something malevolent circling us. I feel fear is merely waiting in the wings. Wie viele Vampire gibt es in London? Are there many vampires here in London? Immortals are of a rare breed, and we often tend to hide. But you may occasionally meet some of us at night. Wer hat mich angerufen? Do you know any of them? Have you an idea of the identity of the vampire who attacked me? You mean your maker? No, Jonathan, I have no clue. But I fear he or she is as careless as cruel. To let you discover your new condition by yourself. What do you mean? Every now and then, you may discover an immortal in the deep of the night. But we are a rare and reclusive breed. Our progeny is almost never accidental. Sind Sie alle freundlich? Will they all be as affable as you, my lady? I do not see why not. But remember, even the shark smiles before he bites. That sounds like a lesson from experience. Vampire politics are as intricate and sometimes tedious as a game of chess in a gentleman's club. 
I've learned from experience it is best to decline to play. When I awoke, changed, I was chased and attacked by vampire hunters. Prepared and well trained. Though I can't be certain, more than likely it was the once glorious guard of Prewin. Once glorious, but still dangerous. They have seen better days, but all fanatics are dangerous. You would be wise to stay clear. They are sworn to destroy our kind. You make them sound like some sort of cult. More a society. And like all the best ones, a secret society. I thought them almost gone. But it seemed they have been recruiting. I've been hearing a voice talking in my head. Is this some kind of insanity? It feels like the voice of the vampire that created me. Hush. Tell no one this. It would be unwise to talk of such things amongst British immortals. Speak no more of your maker. How could this cause offense? Only the powerful immortals can mentally call to their progeny. No vampire or hunter will sleep easy knowing that an unidentified elder is stalking the streets of London. Sind Sie meine Schöpferin? Excuse my forwardness, but are you my maker? Me? Goodness, no. Only a foolish immortal would create a progeny without taking precaution, and I'm no fool. Ich bin ein Vampir. A vampire? Is that what I am? What we are? Such a crude word, defined by penny dreadfuls and drunken hacks. No, you are now an Ekon, and that you shall remain. Are you an Ekon too? Yes, I am. We are the closest thing to what man refers to as vampires. Forget what you think you know about us. An Ekon is a vampire. So we are Ekons. How can I identify us amongst other vampires? How to put it? All Ekon are vampires. But all vampires are not Ekon. We are a... But a branch of the immortal tree. Warum wurde ich den Tod überlassen? I don't understand. Why was I created and then left for dead? That is a question only the one who made you can answer. It's not normal practice. I doubt even if you find him, he will answer you, considering how cruelly he treated you. Könnte es ein Versehen sein? So me being a vampire could have been a mistake. I very much doubt it, Jonathan. Contrary to the legends, it is not as simple to make another vampire by just biting someone. I'd like to avoid creating another vampire by mistake anyway. Tell me, how is it done? <sighs> the process is dangerous. It could even kill your potential progeny. If you did decide to sire an offspring, they must drink of your blood, Jonathan. Okay. I bid you farewell, for now, my lady. I must quickly analyze the blood I took from Nurse Crane's patient. Also ab zum Blut analysieren. Das war jetzt schon eine Menge, was wir rausgefunden haben.
Reicht das Blutserum? Reicht das Ausdauerserum? Gut, das können wir jetzt nicht mehr herstellen, aber. Razvan Vasily was infected by Spanish flu, but also has the highly unstable blood of the Skulls. Is the London vampire epidemic transmitted through the flu? I should talk to Dr. Swansea about it. Wenn Sie eine Verbindung zwischen der Vampirepidemie und der spanischen Grippe noch erfahren mehr über die Vampirepidemie. Ja, warte mal. Evening, Edgar. Could I get your professional opinion? Please speak, but I have something important to tell you. This strain of flu, it's very different from the one I saw in Europe. It's downright peculiar. Really? What makes you say that? Ich habe Blut untersucht. I've just looked at the blood of one of our recently deceased. I see. Do you have anything more to go on? This disease spreads and looks like the Spanish flu, but its effects differ greatly. The London strain is different from the continental one. This is very interesting. Did you find something else? Yeah, have it. Yes. Unlike the flu, the infected begin to show an increase in outwardly aggressive behavior. More than simple agitation. Once docile people become violent. You mean like rabies? Is there a chance we could create a vaccine, Jonathan, like Pasteur? By the stove, that would be smashing. There's a lot we're not seeing here. But it is spreading, and quickly. If we don't act, the whole city could be lost. But Jonathan, we've a fantastic opportunity sitting right here in front of us. A weapon of choice. What on earth do you mean? Why you, my dear boy? With your expertise and your blood, we could isolate the properties that course through your veins. Think about the possibilities. Ich habe darüber nachgedacht. I admit it did occur to me. Blood seems to be the common factor in all of this. I totally agree. We're in uncharted territory here. Maybe it's just wishful thinking, but imagine the possibilities. We'll discuss this more later. Thank you for your time. No, thank you, Jonathan. But as I said, I needed to talk to you. I have some rather bad news. Yes? I'm afraid it's your sister. My sister. She's to be buried this evening at Whitechapel Cemetery. Your mother published the obituary this morning. I see. I'm sorry, Jonathan. Please accept my condolences. Das Auge war im Grab. Wunde Marys Bestattung war. Ähm. Ich werde mich, ähm... Ah, ich begib mich erstmal zu der Beerdigung. I never thought I would have to attend my murdered sister's funeral. Mary, I can't forgive myself. 
I'll find the truth about what happened to us. I swear. Gelaufen. Du wurdest besiegt. Ja, schon wieder. Ach, Leute. Dann werde ich mich doch erstmal ausruhen. Dann machen wir das anders. Hier auf den Blutsperr. Und dann gehe ich noch auf. Großer Durst. Physische Stärke. Bisschen Ausdauer ist schließlich auch nicht schlecht. Also ein bisschen mehr Ausdauer. Die folgende Nacht. Sinnlose Polizeirazzien in Whitechapel. Seit kurzem verdichten, sie die, verdichten sich die Gerüchte um Whitechapel zu Fakten. Die Polizei hatte seit drei Monaten den Verdacht, dass der Bezirk Mittelpunkt des Londoner Schwarzmarktes für Medikamente gewesen sein könnte. Aber selbstverständlich bleiben diese Verdachtsmomente Vermutungen. Es wurde auch kein großes Polizeiaufkommen nach Whitechapel entsandt, um diesem medikalen Handel ein Ende zu setzen. Es wurden keine großen Medikamentenlager gefunden und keine Verbrecherbosse festgenommen. Dieser Mummenschanz diente einzig und allein dem verzweifelten Versuch, die eklatante Inkompetenz der Londoner Gesundheitsbehörde vor der Bevölkerung mit einem billigen und leichten Erfolg zu verschleiern, während die Epidemie Tag für Tag weiter um sich greift. Das Schlimmste ist, wenn man sich die Zeit nimmt, die neuesten Tabellen und Statistiken zu lesen, entdeckt man, dass Whitechapel die Krankheit deutlich besser meistert als viele andere Teile der Stadt. Ein Wunder. Oder Beweis für eine illegale, aber effizient medizinische Einrichtung im Untergrund? Ein weiterer Beweis für die kriminelle Inkompetenz der Behörde? Ich weiß nur folgendes. Wenn ein Londoner eine größere Chance hat, die Epidemie zu überleben, indem er sich für ein Dasein in dieser gottverlassenen Gegend entscheidet, ziehe ich gerne in die hinterletzte fliegenverseuchte Wohnung, die mir ein zwielichtiger Vermieter zu überlassen bereit ist, und zwar sofort. SLA. Wichtiges Ereignis. Die Presse berichtet über die Konsequenzen deiner Entscheidung in Bezug auf eine Stütze der Gesellschaft. Ja gut, ob man das jetzt positiv oder negativ sehen will, das äh, sei mal dahingestellt.
Ich persönlich würde es tatsächlich positiv sehen, aber... Ähm Ah, ja. Naja, weil die Leute haben da zumindest einen Ort, äh, zu dem sie hingehen können. Das kann natürlich heißen, dass, also es das kann natürlich bedeuten, dass da jetzt mehr Leute hingehen, als äh, eventuell sogar der Ort ähm, sozusagen tragen kann. Aber, ähm, ja, immerhin ein Licht in der Dunkelheit, oder? Are you all right, miss? I... I don't know. Who were those people? They, they... they wanted to kill me. Why? They've lost their minds in the epidemic. They won't come back for now. You seem to know a lot about them, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm investigating this disease. I am Shaoshun. Thank you so much for helping me, Mr. Reed. I must go to the cemetery now. Goodbye. Auf Wiedersehen.
I have this thirst for blood. Okay, ich habe es mir äh, leichter vorgestellt, als es ist. Die geben mir aber ordentlich. Since I can't reveal myself to my mother now, I must find a discreet spot to attend the ceremony. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. We commend unto thy hands of mercy, most merciful Father. The soul of our sister departed, and we commit her body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Why kill my Mary and stick her here in this cold, god-awful place? <laughs> These are the legal requirements for the epidemic, madam. Oh, Avery, I feel so tired. Please take me home. Yes, madam. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, Mary. What have I done? If I could only change one thing. One thing. This is a nightmare. Jonathan, there is nothing you can do but accept it. What brings you here? I thought you could use the company. I am so sorry for your loss, Jonathan. Sie war die Gutherzigkeit selbst. She was a good person. Vibrant, full of life. She was kindness incarnate, my Mary. You're a good person, Jonathan. And a young Ekon. A newborn cast into the night without so much as a candle to guide your way. She had been scouring the most dangerous parts of London in search of me. And it led to her death. Jonathan, don't. I still hear her last thoughts. They echo in my head. Her mind shattered and... And it haunts me. Jonathan, stop. Listen carefully. You must come to terms with this. You must learn to live with what happened. Wie könnte ich? How can I? I've destroyed my family. My poor mother. I can't even console her. Don't you see? You're doing the work of our enemies. Feeding your remorse. We are weakest when we grieve, and the guilt blurs our senses. And so this is why you're here. To warn me. You felt this pain yourself. You too have endured this. I don't want to lose you, Jonathan. I've lost so many friends. Loved ones I cherished. Pray for Mary's forgiveness, if you must. Ich werde ihren Ratschlag befolgen. Thank you, my lady. I will. Good. But be careful. If I found you here, others may too. What should I do then? St. Mary's Church is not far from here. Go there and make your peace. Find the solace you need. My lady wants me to confess. No, Jonathan. It's you who wants to confess, I think. Ich soll... Ich will beichten. Und wieder einmal wurde ich besiegt. <lacht>